<laughs> all right, with the hyper cars and all. This car and my HR were having a rev battle. Five of five. <laughs> Loud. What is going on you guys welcome back to the channel another day another H2R hypercar supercar event right so yeah yesterday was actually the huge hypercar event that I have already posted that you guys have already seen I literally went back home and I started working on that video till like 3 4 in the morning and I posted it for you guys so it's like kind of fast so you guys can watch it right away but I have a lot of other H2R content and other content that I have filmed previously. Uh, so I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. I don't think I'm going to put it out right after uh, the other one since I just posted one, you know. I figured, uh, I was very close to taking my H2, not the R. But I figured yesterday was the first hypercar event. And I guess this one is like the second ever uh, fuel. I guessed it. I was like, does my H2 is worse on MPG because I rode yesterday with all that revving and everything like that and the bike didn't need gas so I was like very shocked and surprised. So I was like, today for sure my gas light is going to turn on and it sure did. 297 miles, we're almost at 300 miles. There we go, I want to keep my eye on the temperature. So yeah, that's kind of like the main reason why I wasn't sure about taking the... Yeah, the least the lights the better, we don't want the H2 R to overheat. Hey, what's up? <laughs> that was my first bike technically, the Ninja 300. I had it for like a week. Come on, come on. HR doesn't like this. Oh my god, why does it keep going back to the fuel? I know that you need fuel, but... Yeah, 190 is already running hot. I'm very, after like these two events, I'm heavily debating installing a fan on this bike. Just because if I'm going to be taking it to more events before, it wasn't a big deal because I was kind of like going to a certain spot and back. So I wasn't like taking it to events and stuff like that. But now that I am and I realize like even this with a few lights, it's not like even too hot of a day. And the bike is heating up pretty fast, especially after yesterday and all the revving. That was like scary. It got up to like 220 a couple times and I was like, okay, that's too much. Usually I try to keep it under like 200, which... I think I do a good job with. We're almost there. My buddy was like, show the cars what's up. There's like no bikes here. I was like, I got you. I'm definitely bringing the H2R then. We're not gonna be doing what we did tomorrow, just a, just a little bit. No red lining or anything like that anymore. Hey, you good? Yeah, yeah. Are you with me or what's up? Uh, I'm with Jose. Okay, we don't know Jose. Oh. Uh, okay. Can I just park it right here in the shade? Literally right here. Just so I can keep it in the shade, you know? I don't know. Uh, okay. Alright. Go ahead, just a little bit. <laughs> you want to do a little more? Go ahead. <laughs> no, no more, no more. 
<laughs> All right. Appreciate it, man. Sounds good. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Kid is a little savage. Oh my god, the bike's already at 228, 230. Uh, the guy with the orange hat, he said he's gonna check and see if I can bring it in. Yeah, what's up, man? I know. Yes, sir. It doesn't have fans, it doesn't come with fans because it's a track bike. It's not made for this. Little, little kid was a savage with the revs. <laughs> Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Hey, coming through, coming through. Thank you. <laughs> With the hypercars and all. Sounds good. I got you, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank you. K. K. The letter K. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Uh, the top speed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be 250. I can show you what I've hit on it so far. Oh yeah. I'm still breaking it in. Let's see how many miles I have. 298 miles on it. But I know. So it has a record, and it shows you your top speed. Damn, <laughs> so far, just breaking it in. That's scary, bro. It, it goes. You just got to commit. You got to commit. That's sick, bro. Appreciate That's it, man. Good thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, nice meeting you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 100%. At first, at first, yeah, when I hopped on it, I was like, okay, I see. It's, it sounds different and it feels a little different. Like, but then when I hopped back on the HU, I'm like, oh, I see the difference now. Yeah. Keeping the original pipe. Yeah, yeah, 100%. The HUR pipe is like the best pipe. Definitely keeping that. Yeah, I watched a lot of your videos. Means a lot. Thank you. I saw a lot of the people cameras. What? Manage Sammy's camera right over there. Sounds good. anything, GoPro. I don't have the DJI, I know you started. Okay, I literally just started. I love it, honestly. That's why I did this. I'm actually going to take out the ND filter because it's dark in here. Uh, but yesterday, I actually filmed with my old setup. Uh, I went to PFS's event. And I was like, for today, I'm going to try this one out. I really like it. I just got to perfect the setup because I've been using the other one for like a couple of years. So this one is still very new. So I'm trying to perfect the audio and all that. This one is very realistic. That's a thing. The GoPro kind of does it for you, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like the volume and the color. This one is more like for professionals. Like, it's more natural. Exactly. Yeah. I need to input more color. I need to like pr uh, adjust the audio more myself, you know? So more hands-on, but then the end product is a lot more better. Like exactly, 100%. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you, man. <laughs> I mean, I'll be here. They put me inside, luckily, so that's good. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was like, I don't want to leave it in the sun. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, I was like, I don't want to leave it in the sun. But they're like, yeah, yeah, you can come in. I was like, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it's a decent amount. I spent already a lot of money on it, too. Yeah, I actually have done a lot more that I haven't posted yet on my channel. It just I'm still trying to work on the videos. You know, I do everything myself. I edit and upload all myself. So, yeah. Oh, that's the... I saw that comment, so I told you guys, let me know what this is, and you guys said it's the Tuatara, the SSC, I believe. So here it is again. We saw it yesterday, and we are seeing it today again. Carbon fiber, everything. This thing looks crazy. Oh, the LFA. Still think these are one of the best sounding cars ever. The Pagani, they put me right be with the hyper cars. I'm glad the guy knows what the HR is. That was awesome. I was like, it's okay, I, I don't mind leaving outside just as long as it's in the shade. <laughs> cool down, you know? How are you doing, man? Nice meeting you too, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I saw that dog moving and I was like, what the? 
and whatever that I, I want that I see propellers so I want to fly <laughs> the 918 I didn't even recognize the LaFerrari this is sick if you have a LaFerrari it gotta be red like this <laughs> that's so cool SVJ and ah oh, my favorites that's the car I was behind the whole time when I was revving it all sick got a good look at this one yesterday and the Regera this is insane, the fact that this is a Bugatti. <laughs> Got the supercar section. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Shmi's car. I saw online that like uh, he was here yesterday and I was like, what? Shmi is here? Ford GT. Oh, I see more Conus eggs in there. My, my friend was going to find yes. here where? No, I don't know where she went, but I know she wanted it. Okay. I'll give you hers. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Of course, thank you. <laughs> I do. Awesome. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be getting a bike in December. You're getting a bike soon? Getting a bike. What are you getting? I'm getting a 2004 Honda CBR 600 double Okay, okay, that's sick. That's, that's sick. My ring, so I want to say thank you because you, you're a genuine inspiration. Bro, that means a lot to me. Honestly, that's part of why I do. I want to like kind of introduce the people to this bike scene and everything. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. It means a lot. Of course, let's do it, man. Of course, man. Sick. Awesome. Of course, man. Pleasure meeting you guys. Carbon wheels. This is awesome. What do you guys think? Should I get carbon wheels on the H2R? I'm a little unsure about doing that because, I don't know, I feel like it's a heavy bike and I'm going to be going crazy on it sometimes. And I'm like, I don't know if I can fully trust them. You know what I mean? But it would be cool. All right, let's check out this side too. What's up? Hello. How was your ride? Not bad, not bad. The bike still got pretty hot over here, but. Pretty, uh, yeah. Right I know, bro. <laughs> I know. Clutched up, clutched up. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, this is. Yeah. This is so cool. Everyone taking pictures. I want to not be in the way. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm, I'm a Lambo fan. I'm sorry. I love Lambos. One day. One day. What do you guys think? Sell half the bike collection and get a Lambo. Not, not this, of course. Look at these wheels. Holy. Wait, this thing is also like full carbon. This is badass, bro. I wonder if the same person has to own both of these. Because that's sick. The classic and the hyper. And the sports, they're all matching. Carbon with like blue. That's goals <laughs> the Paganis that's the one that was in the video by the way if you haven't checked out the video check it out because it was sick this car and my HR were having a rev battle and we were not going easy so five of five and I was doing a rev battle with this thing <laughs> <laughs> Check out the video, please. You won't be disappointed. Not much better than a Zonda <laughs> revving and a, uh, even the top speed uh, Kona's egg was revving and my H2R redlining the hell out of it. Ah, uh, the eggs. Those are the ultimate dream hypercar. My favorite. I want like a Lambo as a supercar and an egg. I don't know if this will ever happen, but we can manage the Lambo one day. <laughs> These f Yeah, how you doing? so pretty it's so pretty okay let's go back by the bikes this event is really nice and organized and few pretty select vehicles not overly crowded and all so <laughs> this guy <laughs> we meet again how are you doing how are you? good 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 huh it was actually the little kid he was like can i rev it i was like go ahead <laughs> what's up man okay nice meeting you nice meeting you guys this guy. If I'm wearing the helmet, I'm recording. Do you think I want to suffocate? Uh, 3:30. Yeah. It had uh, the world record for zero to 250 miles an hour in 26 seconds. Zero to 250 miles an hour in 26 seconds. <laughs> Yeah. 
I have the M1000 RR. It's also the track version of the S1000. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, what's up? I made it. Good, good. Two ten. So far, cool. I've been faster on some of my other bikes, but like I'm. Uh, Mexico. <laughs> Gets up there really quick. You don't need that much room, to be honest. Oh yeah, 100%. It, it still has like 200 miles, so I'm still breaking it in, just testing it out. Were you like shaking, or you were totally cool? With nah, I love it. <laughs> nah. It's fun for me. I would be more nervous in a car. You would? Yeah, 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 100%. Because with that, it's uh, I have more control over it. How fast did it take you to go to 210? Like nothing, right? Yeah, no, nah, it did like few few seconds. Not two, but a few seconds for sure. Because I rolled into it like easy. I wasn't trying to get there fast. I was just like, oh, let's see what I can do. And I just rolled into it and I kept climbing. I was like, okay. Unfortunately um, not. I should be. But I wear what I'm wearing right now. I, sh I mean, honestly, at these speeds, I don't think that protection will do much. Yeah. If something happens at 200 plus miles an hour, you're getting smushed like a bug. So, I guess that's, that's one way of looking at it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I should be in general. Nah, I just have my gloves, my helmet, and my riding shoes. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. Oh, yeah. All of the above. <laughs> nice seeing you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause it here. Of course, we're going to uh, film again when I'm riding out. She looks good in here with all these hyper cars. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a spec on it? What is the, what is the CC? It's a thousand. It's a supercharged thousand, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. What 200 is it called? 300. 400? Yeah. Oh. From 0 to 426 seconds. 426 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice bike. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I was like, I don't know if I should start it here or like, yeah, I'm going to just start it here. Whatever. It's okay. <laughs> 120, so we're good. I'm trying to figure out what's the closest gas station. Can I ask how much did, did, uh, did it cost? It's 60. 60? Yeah. Oh, I see. Did you do any customization? Yeah, a lot of it. A lot of it? Yeah, it's, uh, the C, all the carbon here, the carbon, all the green titanium stuff, all the carbon here. No, this is stock. The bolts, the titanium bolts. Oh. Yeah, the rear sets. There's a lot of stuff all over. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the base is 60. Yeah. The customization is after market. It's not from the factory. Oh, okay. Yeah, How yeah. How much did you spend on that? Uh, probably so far between ten to twenty thousand. Oh. Ten to twenty, yeah. Oh. By the time it's done, it should be around twenty. I think right now it's a little over ten. I don't know, something like oh, that. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Very thank nice. you, thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> very nice. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. it <laughs> just a little bit and now the kids are running <laughs> nah I'm definitely not popping it up <laughs> the kid is like pop it up fun it's probably gonna be a very long time until I take this to another event to be honest unless it's something crazy like this with a lot of hyper cars and all because uh, I feel right I feel bad this bike is not meant for this usually when I ride it I ride it around the sunset time so it's like a bit cooler and I'm mainly going the thing with meat the lights aren't an issue to be honest because it heats up but the light never takes long enough that it heats up really hot but when I get to events 
uh, and I'm going really slow to, you know, try to find a parking and get in all that, that's when it gets really hot. So definitely not the best idea. So I'm not going to be taking it to too many events. I don't want to mess up the bike unless I do install a fan on it. It's just a pretty big job to have to wire it and all that. And I don't really like messing with electronic stuff. When it's mechanical upgrades, sure, love it. But when it's electronics, it trips me out a little bit. <laughs> so since I have the H2, probably keep, you know, the H2 for that type of stuff. The R will be for very special meets and occasions. Yeah, see, like right now it's at 174. That's not bad at all. It's just when a bike engine is running and I'm going like two miles an hour. That's when it's pretty bad. Like even right now, I feel like when the bike is in neutral, it doesn't get a heat up as bad. We're still figuring it out. Let's see the miles. Am I at 300 yet? 299, we gotta film 300. Yay. We already did a lot for 300 miles. We already put so much blood, so many upgrades, hypercar events, a uh, couple of top speed tests. Yeah, a lot of fun already with this HR. Hopefully, a lot more to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, it was nice and fun seeing all these hypercars and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully, in the future, we're gonna do some like private stuff with hypercars. Now since I met the owner that owns all of these like Konus eggs and Pagani's and all, which is insane. Did the SVJ overheat? <laughs> they do that. that. That SVJ was at the show too. I mean, realistically this bike didn't shut off and I know when it gets to like a dangerous temperature, it starts flashing, telling me to pretty much like, you know, turn off the bike. So I never let it get to that level, you know, it got up to like 220 and the max 230 when the bike was off, which isn't like horrible, you know, like some other bikes already run super hot. But yeah, it's definitely a little stressful, you know, I'm trying to keep this bike uh, healthy because I want to ride it a lot. It already has like a, a pretty intense uh, maintenance thing, if you guys wouldn't know, like every 15 hours or, yeah, 15 hours of riding, it needs a valve adjustment and some other stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure with all the thread lining and revving, that's not helping at all, it's making it worse, so, yep, just HUR thing, but with this uh, big boy bike, there's a lot of responsibility that you gotta deal with, please drop a like, subscribe as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out, Rezae.